Welcome to Council Action. My name is Elizabeth Kaus. I'm the mayor of the city of Burnsville. Council Action is a summary of the council's meeting on Tuesday, October 8th, 2019. The meeting was called to order at 5.30 p.m. at 100 Civic Center Parkway in the council chambers. We begin our meetings with a moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. And then we move on to our announcements and we had two proclamations. Our announcements have to do with all of our upcoming meetings. Council meetings are scheduled for Tuesday, October 22nd at 5.30 p.m. And then on Monday, November 4th at 5.30 p.m. Now, we're having the meeting on Monday, November 4th at 5.30 because Tuesday, November 5th is an election day and we are not allowed by statute to hold meetings on election day. And then we have work ses sessions scheduled. Tuesday, October 15th at 5.30 p.m. and Tuesday, October 29th at 5.30 p.m. We're also in the midst of budgets and we have budget meetings scheduled. We have a budget work session scheduled for Tuesday, October 29th at 5.30 p.m. Another budget work session on Tuesday, November 12th at 5.30 p.m. And then on Tuesday, December 3rd at 6 p.m., we adopt the tax levy and budget. We had two proclamations. One is for Fire Prevention Week, and the other was for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And then we move on to citizens' comments, and we did have one citizen appear before us to speak on um, the issue of bike trail across 35W Bridge. And um, we had her talk with some of our two council members, that uh, are on the 35W Solutions Alliance, but a lot of those decisions have already been made. The issue that was brought before us is the area where it, the bike trail comes down into um, Cliff Road, and then it is in a floodplain before it moves all the way up uh, and then cross over on the bridge over to Bloomington, but they were concerned about the area that is within the floodplain. And uh, because of the elevation and other issues that uh, MnDOT needed to work through, uh, that issue um, will ha continue to have discussions with MnDOT. MnDOT is uh, the agency responsible for federal highways, for federal interstate highways. So um, we heard from the resident and uh, our council members who are in the 35W Solutions Alliance talked with her after the meeting. Uh, there were no emergency items to be added to the agenda. And then we move on to the consent agenda. One item was pulled from the consent agenda and that was item 4E to be continued and that was to, um, and we'll get to that when I get to that item. But we approved all of the minutes of our past meetings. We also approved claims listing. We approved a resolution providing for the sale of 8085000 general obligation improvement utility revenue and refunding bonds. We also approved a resolution providing for the redemption of certain outstanding general obligation taxable storm sewer revenue bonds and GO storm sewer revenue bonds. We also approved, the, uh, this is 4E, this is being continued to the next meeting, and it is to approve a joint powers agreement to conduct traffic safety projects with Dakota County and neighboring cities. So that item uh, was not acted on and is being continued to a future council meeting. F, we approved an agreement for the economic development and bond council attorney services. We also approved a three-year agreement with Lockridge Grindle Nowen for legislative advocacy services. We also approved a multi-year health plan agreement with health, health partners for the 2020-2021 calendar year. And we approved a resolution approving a premise permit for Burnsville Egan High School Football Booster Club to conduct the sales of pull tab at Tavern 13. We also approved a second amendment to the communication site lease agreement with Sprint at the Colonial Hills Water Tower. And then we also approved a contract for the purchase of fuel systems hardware 
software and professional services and we accept that the quote for the installation of fuel system hardware and tank monitoring system. We also approved an application uh, for Eileen Keehan for a variance to the principal structure side yard setback for an addition to a single family home located at 14633 Fieldcrest Lane. We also approved an application uh, for the City of Burnsville for an amendment to City Code Title 10, Zoning, Chapter 30, Signs Related to Definitions, Temporary Signs, Allowable and Prohibited Signs, Freestanding Signs, Allowed by Permit, and Banner Signs for Condominiums. We adopted the ordinance and authorized the publication of the summary ordinance. And that was the end of the consent agenda. As we move on to the regular agenda, the first item on the regular agenda was a public hearing. And this was to approve an on-sale Sunday, on-sale liquor license for Tavern 13, doing business as Tavern 13 located at 2510 Horizon Drive. That item was presented. There were no questions for staff. And I opened the public hearing. No one spoke to the item closed the public hearing, and the item was approved. Uh, the next item was a resolution to approve the fire station one land purchase. That item was presented, and the land purchase was approved. The next item was an ordinance renaming a portion of Corporate Center Drive to Gene Happy Way. That item was presented. And uh, there were no questions. We have been working on all of this. This had to do with part of the land sale for Fire Station 1. And we did approve the renaming of a portion of Corporate Center Drive to Gene Happy Way. Uh, the next item was a meeting of the Economic Development Authority. I recessed the Burnsville City Council meeting so the Economic Development Authority meeting can convene. That meeting was called to order and there were no additions to the final agenda. And on the consent agenda were two items. One was to approve all of the minutes of the past meeting, and that was done. And the other was to approve the agreement for Economic Development and Bond Council Attorney Service, and that item was also approved. There were no items on the regular agenda, and the meeting was then adjourned. I reconvened the Burnsville City Council meeting, and uh, there were no other items to come before the body, and the meeting was adjourned. I'd like to remind everyone that council action replays at 6 a.m. and noon, 6 p.m. and midnight. City council meetings replay at various times on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And I encourage you to watch the following to see how you can view past meetings and current meetings via the internet at www.burnsville.gov. I'm Elizabeth Kautz, Mayor of the City of Burnsville. Thank you for joining me. Continue to make a difference.